Hello and welcome to Edupedia World. It's now time that we take a look at how we can mask out effects. So um, a great example for uh, where it can be used is um, with this bottle. Let's say we want to uh, change the color of this cap. Let's say we want um, a yellow cap instead of this red one. So um, what we will do is uh, take an adjustment layer, Control, Control, Alt, Y. That will, will create a adjustment layer. Let's call this uh, masked uh, CC, mask color correction. And uh, then the effect we want to use is called hue and saturation. So we will put that on to uh, the adjustment layer. And then if we change the hue, we can see we change the color. But we change the color of everything. So um, let's just put this back to zero and uh, create a mask. So we have our adjustment layer and we just want to go in with the pen tool and uh, start drawing out a mask. And be as precise as you want to. Um, so we done press V and then we can turn on the effect again. So let's make it this orange color. Now we can see we have actually only affected the area here where the mask is. Um, if we take a look at the edges here you can see there's a bit of spill and uh, we can try and correct that. So let's just go into the mask settings and uh, add a bit of feather because that looks nice three pixels of feather and uh, that actually only made the spill worse so we can fix that by adding a bit of mask expansion just expand it three pixels just like that and now everything is uh, completely orange we can just drag this now it's it looks completely real um, maybe not this color because well who would have that, that kind of color on their cap but this color actually looks very nice I prefer the usual red but this kind of orange always also looks kind of nice we could do the same uh, down here create a new adjustment layer and uh, start cutting out this uh, red part here so I'll just do this very quickly just to like prove the point um, I think you saw me do there where you saw me use way too many uh, points it's actually best to just use a few because that can create um, much smoother shapes just a few shapes like this one shape here shape there and uh, I will correct that uh, shape when I'm done with this the little, the little uh, bit that pops out there so uh, a nice big arch so if you hold control you can actually just move one end at a time it's a nice little trick and here we want to bring this in and uh, we want to bring this down and here we had a problem so we want to bring this uh, arm in and now we can add hue and saturation again and we can see we can change the color so here it shows how uh, unprecise I was with this uh, rotos, roto job, masking job, whatever you want to call it. I wasn't very precise. But um, yeah, that's one of the things with, ma with masking. Um, it takes a lot of time and you just need to... Uh, just need to acknowledge that see now we change it from a red theme to a uh, orange theme 
pull this up a bit and um, we can also try to add a bit of feather three pixels of feather three pixels of mask expansion and um, this looks quite alright so as you can see this was a way that we could uh, mask an effect we can also uh, use it on other effects so let's just create a quick box mask add curves adjustment I love the curves adjustment and as you can see it's now only the part here in the middle that's being affected so uh, yeah, you can add masks to anything and uh, it will it will like change where yeah what's affected so we could maybe pull this in so that it's only on the bottle part here create a, a new mask down here and uh, add a point right here actually if we drag I'll create a Bessier point and I will follow this curve nicely and as you can see now I can change the reflectivity of this uh, this puddle thank you for watching Ethiopedia world Stay tuned for more videos.